In this video, we're going to talk about variables and expressions, and specifically evaluating those expressions. Let's do a little bit of review before we start talking about the actual evaluation. A variable is quite simply a letter that stands for a number, and as you get up higher and higher in math, you're going to find more and more variables. And then if we have this expression, 3w, w is the actual variable here and w can be any number that we want it to be and when we say 3w that means the same thing as saying 3 times w so if w was 5 we would say 3 times 5 if w was 27 we'd say 3 times 27 if w was 3,946,910.7 we'd say 3 times that big long number. That's what 3W means. So now that we've got that review out of the way, let's talk about evaluating some expressions. These are instructions that you will see on a fairly regular basis. You'll see something to the effect that says evaluate each expression. Let X equals 4. So in this case we're going to be given some expressions. and Here's an example of an expression 5X plus 6. And we want to find out what that's equal to if x equals 4. And all we do is we take the 4 and we put it in the place of everything, every place there's an x. But keep in mind what we said on the previous screen, that 5x means the same thing as 5 times x. So when I put the 4 in, I don't make that 54, it means 5 times 4. And this is just a reminder from when we talked about order of operations, but these parentheses, whenever you have a number in front of parentheses and there's no symbol in between them, that means to multiply. So I've got 5 times 4 plus 6. Remembering our rules from order of operations, we know we're going to do this multiplication part first. So that's 20 plus 6, and then I just add them together, and I get 26. So if I evaluate this expression and let x be 4, I'm going to get 26. Let's look at another one. 20 plus 2, and then inside these parentheses, x plus 2. Remembering, since there's no symbol between the 2 and the parentheses, that means we're going to multiply. So since x equals 4, I'm going to put 4 down in here for x order of operations tells us to do 4 plus 2 first to stuff inside the parentheses. So that gives me 20 plus 2 times 6. The next thing I do is the multiplication. And 2 times 6 is 12. So 20 plus 12 equals 32. I did those two problems pretty quickly. And that's because I have confidence in you to be able to understand this. But if you need to, just rewind it and look at these again because our next problem is going to get a little bit more complicated with these. We're going to have the same instructions now. Evaluate each expression, but now we've got three variables. We've got R, W, and Y. In these examples, we're going to let R be equal to 2, W is going to be 4, and Y is going to be equal to 8. So everywhere there's an R, we'll put 2. Everywhere there's a W, we'll put 4. Everywhere there's a Y, we'll put 8. Here's our first expression, R plus 2W minus Y. What does 2W really mean? Right, it means 2 times W. Let's put these numbers in, and that gives us R is 2 plus 2 times W is 4 minus Y, which is 8. What does order of operations tell us to do first? Order of operations tells us to do the multiplication first. So I do the 2 times 4. And that gives me 2 plus 8 minus 8. Continuing to follow the rules of our order of operations, we do the addition and subtraction as we go across the problem. So 2 plus 8 is 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. Questions? If so, just rewind it. Okay, here's another expression. 
and if you'd like you can push pause and see if you can do this on your own before you watch the instructions on how to do it. Here's the expression. 16 divided by R minus W plus 2Y. There's a lot to keep in mind here, especially with our order of operations. Remember that 2Y is the same thing as 2 times Y. Let's do the substitution. Every place there's an R, I put 2. Every place there's a W, I put 4. Every place there's a Y, I put 8. Now I gotta work it out. There's no parentheses. Now I do the multiplication and division and I just work across the problem. 16 divided by 2, that's my division. I do it first. That gives me 8. And I just bring the rest of my stuff down. Now I can do my multiplication. I've got 8 minus 4 and 2 times 8 is 16. Now I just do my subtraction and addition as I work across the problem. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 plus 16 is 20. And that's how you evaluate expressions when you've been given values for variables. If you have any questions, go back and review these. If you don't have any questions, then I want you to do page 258, 1 through 19 odd.